Okay, uh, welcome to uh, Math on a Spring for Physics 230. Uh, the first part of the lab, we need to determine the K value of the spring. And to do that, we hang different masses from it and measure how far it stretches. And so that's 100 grams. And so you can see it stretches a certain distance. And then if we increase it to 300 grams, you can see it stretches quite a bit more. And so we want to relate the force on the spring to how much it's stretching. And hopefully you've covered uh, Hooke's Law by now. <laughs> and so you should be able to put something together and figure out a good average K value for your spring. The other part, as you may notice, this is now oscillating, is we want to figure out what the um, period of oscillation is for a given mass on a spring. And so you're going to need your K value from part A and some timing values from this to figure out um, periods of oscillation for your spring. So we'll provide you with some data and you'll have to kind of figure it out from there. Uh, there's a little bit of calculus in the middle, hopefully it's not too bad. Um, and there you go.